Welcome back to Get Evan. Evan has been a very, very bad person. So let's get them. I opened this door before, you can, and you can see to the map there's someone through there. There's also someone through here. Curiously, their dots are not red like before, but blue. But uh, they're security guards, so I can't imagine that they're simply friendly. There's no one here? I think I had Deus Ex on the brain. I can't open the vent. Dang it. I wish this Markin wasn't so large. It takes up such a large part of the view, but I think I'm going to want to use it a lot. If for nothing else than to see which way a guard is facing by, like, doing, uh, this. So hold on, do my shortcuts for switching modes work when I have the the phone in the smart gun thing? Oh, they do. Cool. Hmm, they didn't show up before. Wait, what? Killing people affect how others perceive you. Okay, I didn't kill them, though, right? I'm assuming that's just a warning, not to say that I actually just killed them. Right? Okay, so I just loaded a checkpoint to the very beginning of this level, because I wanted to make sure that uh, those melee takedowns were actually non-lethal. It turns out, like the game seems to suggest, but it doesn't make any sense, they are actually lethal. Even though in like every game ever, if you do a takedown like that, and just like punch them in the neck or whatever, that's just putting them to sleep. But no, in this game, that's actually lethal. That's killing them. So there's absolutely no benefit to doing a takedown other than just the fact that you don't use ammo. So I might as well just shoot them if I wanted to do that. And this is one of the other issues I've heard about this game, is that... Um, it tries to push you towards not killing people. And I think it actually, like it says, killing people will have consequences. I'm pretty sure things will play out differently, or maybe you get a different ending or something like that. If you go through the game being basically non-lethal versus lethal. I think you maybe get a better... I'm guessing you get a better ending, I don't actually know. I certainly feel like that, given the way it warns you when you kill somebody. Um... But, apparently the stealth is not very good. So, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to try to do stealth for now. So no takedowns, no shooting, or anything like that. I'll just use this gun as just a way to look around corners, basically. Just gather surveillance, not shoot. And we'll play it by ear and see how the stealth is. See if it gets too annoying. Oh, the fuck. Like before, Mr. Black, it's an inconsistency. Try to use them to your advantage. Every single game ever that has stealth has taught me that you can do a takedown on somebody. And it's non-lethal. Deus Ex and Dishonored and... Okay, well, if I'm going through an enemy territory like this, I'm going to need this open all the time for surveillance and especially the map. I wonder how much they hear me if I run. Okay, well, they didn't hear that. That's good. Stopping there, they might just turn around. 
I'm liking the flow of this so far. I mean, I've been doing stealth around a bunch of enemies for all of like one minute. But it feels pretty good to be looking at the map, moving around, looking around corners, try to peer out basically, safely peer out. Too far away from the anomaly. Still too far away. There we go. Nice bit of cover. Yep, we're in the advanced defense strategy building. Ooh. Someone on a smoke break? To go that way, don't I? Oh, wait, maybe not. Is that an elevator? Ah, oh, dang it. This trash can isn't considered something I can peer over, is it? Oh, wait a second. There's something here? Hello. Nice. Hmm. Now here's something I'm wondering, though. Is there something to be found in the rest of this car park over in that direction? Ah, probably not. So we're going from the basement to floor I don't zero. I understand how this works. Everyone seems off somehow, but it feels so real. So do dreams, Mr. Black, until you wake up. That's the best way I can explain it. But Pandora is still not fully capable of simulating human behavior. I would advise against creating too much disturbance. Every time you kill someone, you rewrite the memory, which may cause distortion. Having a smartphone will help you locate and track threats ahead of time. Indeed. The only problem is I can't have my light on at the same time. And this game is dark. It's so dark. I already, I've already turned the game up quite a bit. That's so dark I can't even really read it totally. Fancy suit of armor. Hope they don't use it against me. Ooh, automatic doors. Looks like a cargo lift. It's down below, though. Oh, so maybe that was an alternate way up here. Oh, someone's coming 
down this hallway. We need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I've heard guards tend to be able to spot you from really far away, like 10 feet away in a bush, sort of thing. See, I don't know how, like, I I don't know the flow of this game yet. I feel uncomfortable. Because stealth, I'm trying to, like, dodge around everybody. But then if I do that, I feel like I'm missing important information. That's the thing, that's... That's the thing that's really weird about this, compared to a lot of other games, where you can pacify, quote unquote pacify, aka knock unconscious or, you know, hit with tranquilizer darts or something like that, everybody. So you can use stealth and just get around, but you also have the option of very slowly and methodically taking out everybody non-lethally. And then you've secured the room, you don't need to worry about anybody, and you can look over the whole thing for information, but that is apparently not an option. So, I feel very uncomfortable. I feel like I'm going to miss a lot. Unless I do some really dangerous stuff, like I'm wondering, can I use the computer where that guard is at, right here, in that little booth? But how the hell am I going to look at that? There's no way I can get to that without killing them. So should I just go upstairs? I guess. Well, shouldn't have sprinted, but it's fine, we're going up. Right. Right. Uh, I don't know what floor we just hit. Above you are the research labs. I believe that's where you need to go. A warning. You may come across Roger Howard, the CEO. He was personally overseeing the development of the corner gun. The man never sleeps. Although it's late, he may well be around. We're on the top floor now, floor 12. Okay. All right, yeah, so ease up on the sprinting. I also wish there was less wobble when you're crouched and moving. It's kind of a little bit disorientating and almost like nauseous the way the uh, map down there wobbles around when you're crouched and walking. It's like, ugh. Uh, I'm going to trust that you're not going to turn around. Ooh, security room? N and nobody in the security room? God, it's so dark. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and, like, crank the gamma. There. Believe it or not, this is cranked. It didn't help very much. Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking there's probably no, like, computer hacking. I don't think this is Deus Ex. Oh, that's a cool detail. The different computer terminals actually have different names on them. R. Trafalski. Wow. My Little Pony at work. Daring. What's that? Britain Veterans Service. You're not alone. Helping our veterans since 1945. Veteran in crisis or no one who is? If so, we're here to help. Don't you dare, don't you fucking 
filthy. Give me back my money. <laughs> Somebody unhappy with the vending machine. Expected this door to open? It doesn't. Huh. Okay. I wish these weren't super. Uh oh, uh oh, they're coming this way. I wish these weren't super modern, see-through glass uh, offices. Bad for stealth. Like, is there something I want to find in here? I don't know. I don't feel secure in actually checking. So, I think Red said the floor above you is research, right? So is this research now? It's really cool looking. Like see-through structure. See the stars. I just realized you can zoom in and out on the map. Oh, that's good to know. Well, I'm definitely going to have that zoomed out all the time. I don't remember the code to this door. How do I get through? The memory of the code is still there, Mr. Black. You just can't quite access it. Explore your surroundings. The mind has funny ways of helping us recall. I don't understand. You don't need to, Mr. Black. You just need to look around. Why did everything turn all white? I noticed this said guilty before, before it said enter code. Okay, well, it looks like there's nobody that's gonna hurt me up here. I see nothing on the map, so let's get rid of this thing for once. There's a seven. Into a new universe. where you can hear sounds associated with these images. The sound of a motorcycle or the sound of a kid. So five and seven. Five, seven, nine. Not sure what the right order is though. 
5794. Oh, little doggy. 5794. Arf, arf. Five seven nine four five seven nine four. Maybe my character will just automatically know it. Oh, no, I don't think so. Since it puts him here. Um. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of different. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there's an age progression here. This is definitely age progression. Maybe it's from young to old. Because there would be quite a few combinations if I did it randomly. Not too many, but uh, yeah, let's start with the youngest. So seven, nine, four, five. Ah, there we go. Good guess. you didn't just steal the corn again. You destroyed their servers, erased their data, wiped the corn again from existence. You're good at your job, Mr. Black, I'll give you that. Well, this Robert Ramsey must have paid well. Hmm. I wonder if I'll get the choice to destroy my own copy of the corner gun data. I get a feeling that's what they're doing. They're trying to get back the information about the corner gun. It got destroyed. It only exists in my own mind, maybe. I wiped their servers. I had the only copy. Now the only copy is, I guess, in my head or something. Hmm. Maybe I'll get the choice to destroy it myself and just wipe the corner gun from existence, which is certainly what I would and will do if I'm presented with the choice. an attachment. So is it just a... What is it? I mean, it's a different gun on the end. Looks like maybe a Glock now, and it, I don't think it's silenced. Oh. Whoa. Uh, I think it's automatic or burst. It's automatic. Wow. Hmm. There's got to be a way to, like, change it. Right? Oh, yeah. If you press the button for... Uh, the corner gun, it just switches between the two? Or, no. Oh no, now it's replaced my assault rifle thingy. So now it's just an attachment. Although it looks like a pistol. We'd think it wouldn't be as powerful as the assault rifle. But still. Hmm. Yeah, it, it does feel odd that non-lethal is not an option. Other than just simply avoiding enemies, but... I'm definitely getting the feeling that the drive to use the gun, like the gun is supposed to feel like a powerful tool that is basically the easy way of doing the game, and the non-lethal way is supposed to be significantly harder. I think that's on purpose, because this game seems like, I feel like one of its themes is about, is about, um, well, basically how dangerous weapons are. How they're proliferating under the guise of protecting us against terrorism and blah 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 blah. But, you know, it's just a money-making industry and it's just going to kill a bunch of people. So I feel like that's kind of on purpose. So what do we do now? Oh. Ah, uh, there you are. 
I'm afraid I've been watching you since the moment you entered the building. Your work is impressive, but the show is over. You have my property, and I want it back. Nothing personal, you understand. Security. Kill him. I think I'm gonna want to take over. They're coming. Oh, I see a whole bunch of them. They're just hanging out out there, though. Okay. Where am I trying to get to? The elevator? heal over time? Certainly there's no med packs. <laughs> oh shit. It didn't even look like I could interact with the buttons there. Maybe past the elevator, around to the other side. Oops, no, no, no. Like maybe through there? I don't think that opens. I, I mean... I have to be at least a little bit lethal, right? Like there's no way I'm getting past these people. They're not gonna leave me alone, they've been told to kill me. Is there a way past this? I guess I should try harder, I don't know. The fact that it's warning me every time I kill them makes me <laughs> rethink what I'm doing. Uh, what the hell else can I do though? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Little snipers. Yeah, I think they know I'm here. I have to. I, I absolutely have to kill them. There's no way. Ooh, it looks like takeout menu pamphlets or something. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm chasing Howard. No. We have nothing to gain by changing this memory. I'm pulling you out. Stabilizing windows, nursing full insulin system flood. That's it. 
Stay with us, Mr. Black. I'm pulling you out. I thought this was a simulation. I was... I was there. I could feel it. The pain. It felt real because your mind perceived it to be. Injuries sustained within the Pandora will have the same effect on your brain as those sustained without. Now, stop thinking, Mr. Black. Clear your mind while I bring you out. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. A natural response. It will become easier the more we proceed. If it helps, I have prepared a little gift for you. What are you talking about? Outside in the corridor. You see the lines of computer code. All the ones and zeros. Please, approach and proceed. Not that again. Consider this a filing cabinet, Mr. Black, of all the evidence you gather. We'll make sense of it eventually. Any information filed by the Pandora is accessible for you in this room. Each board represents a different memory. Give it a try. Look at a couple of boards and see what happens. Any connections or links your mind may have made, even unconsciously, are recreated visually by the Pandora. I'm rather proud of this feature. You can study the investigation further, or return to the asylum when you're ready. Just use the photo in the middle of the room. Hmm. Oh. So this is the hub, I guess, sort of. This is where we started, right? Kidnapping. So I guess 82% means we haven't found all the pieces of evidence. Yeah, like, that's a missing one. That's a missing one. So three pieces of missing things. Can look over everything. Hmm. So this is all stuff that I've already found, right? I don't remember finding this, though. Yeah, a contract of employment for me. Starting July 17th, 2009. Duties and responsibilities. Oversee security of FDG S&T department. Protect s and department from unauthorized parties. Establish and maintain confidentiality of new and existing projects. Escort select individuals as directed. I guess some of these were just already in my head. Just welcome on board to the FDG. You're to report directly to Robert Ramsey and take your orders from him. Technology is working on this to be kept secure at all costs. Okay. How much do you know about him, anyway? Cole Black. Not much. Just rumors, you know. Had a background check run on him. Didn't turn up a whole lot. Well, he wouldn't. Not if he's good at what he does. So you think we can trust him? I see why not. As long as we keep him sweet. I don't know. Makes me nervous. He seems volatile. It'll be fine. Famous last words. Volatile. Hmm. And that is to return to the place? So I guess I do have the option of going back there. Huh. It's like replaying the level, I guess? Explosion near Barnet Green. On the morning of the 20th of June, residents of Barnt... Barnt Green in Bromsgrove were concerned by a mysterious explosion which shook windows and woke residents at approximately 7.30 a.m. Philip O'Malley, 27, who lives on Rosewood Drive, and said he was surfing the web at home when he heard a loud, frightening sound. I thought that a plane or a meteorite had crashed or something, said O'Malley. It was really unexpected. Severn police have yet to make a statement, although they are currently conducting an investigation together with explosion forensics to uncover the truth. 
Hmm. On the morning of the 20th of June, so that was when the bomb, I guess, exploded on the hostage. Or at least that's what it looked like in our memory, right? At least five killed during underground explosion. Yeah. Still investigating the explosion in an underground complex near Barnt Green. It's been almost two weeks since the tragic event, and many questions are left unanswered. Hmm. Super high-tech drone that we found. Sedatives. On the morning of the 20th of June, just before 8 a.m., we received multiple reports of an explosion in the north part of the Barnt Green area. Officers on the scene of a derelict building in the area reported five fatalities. We can now confirm that this explosion was in fact linked to the kidnapping reported on Sunday. And that the same girl, whose identity we must continue to withhold, was also found on the scene. We believe that the girl was heavily drugged and that the kidnappers who abducted the girl from her home on the 19th of June, kept her sedated and tied up. Yeah, my current early, like, working hypothesis is that, yeah, I was hired to steal all the information. I did that, destroy the information on their servers, and then maybe thought, hey, maybe I shouldn't give this information to anybody. Perhaps I should destroy it or something. And then someone maybe perhaps kidnapped our, our daughter or something. Maybe that's who the woman is as a way to uh, get us to give up the information. Release her in exchange for the, the corner gun. Investigation of blast site. Investigators sweeping the crime scene found fragments of an improvised explosive device. The analysis of those fragments led us to believe that the IED was triggered accidentally. Someone probably damaged the electrical firing cable. Another shocking case comes to an unsatisfying conclusion. What the hell is that picture? Ooh. Police negligence reaches new heights. All kidnappers died on the scene. Significant evidence ignored. After analyzing the evidence, several police came to the conclusion that everyone involved in the mysterious Bromsgrove kidnapping died on the scene. Our sources, however, inform us that the local police left many leads unchecked, in some cases ignoring significant evidence. Hmm. Probably paid off. God, it zooms in so much, it's actually kind of hard to read just because it's frankly too big. This is easier. There are three places in the area where they could keep the girl. A large two-story building that served as a public school until 1986, abandoned ever since. 150 feet west from the school, a bunker built in the mid-1950s. 400 feet south, a small two-story building probably abandoned. Okay. Oh god, we got a million pieces here. I don't think I want to read them all, though. How many of these are things... Whoa. Where's the sound coming from? Most of these things are probably the things we found, right? Like all this stuff, yeah. But these news articles and stuff are definitely not... Hmm. What's this over here? Ah, that's what we just did. We actually got most of it, 80%. Yeah, I feel pretty happy about that. This, though, we only got 45%. Hmm. I don't know. I, I get the feeling this isn't the, short, the sort of game I should try to 100%. You know? I don't feel like it's that sort of game. I feel conflicted about it, though. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, this is turning out to be a pretty long episode, so I hope you enjoyed it so far. And when I return, we're going to... Well, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll replay one of these off-camera and try to get the percentage up, or maybe I'll just continue on. We'll see.